Let me tell you something you might not know about the Oscar-winning actor, Philip Seymour Hoffman. He died in early 2014, before his latest film, A Most Wanted Man, was released in July. His estate is valued at $35 million, and his estate plan is an excellent example of your ability to control your assets with a well-constructed last will and testament. Hoffman left his entire estate directly to his girlfriend, Mimi O'Donnell, the mother of his three children. This despite the fact that O'Donnell kicked Hoffman out of their $4.5 million apartment before he died from complications caused by his major drug addictions. Hoffman rejected the urgings of his accountant to set up a trust to handle his estate and keep his assets for the benefit of those three children. Hoffman repeatedly stated he did not want his children to be considered trust fund kids. In particular, he did not want his children to grow up as spoiled brats with too much money. An attorney, James Cahill Jr., was appointed by the court to represent the interest of those young children, and he reported to the court that there was nothing suspicious about the actor's will. It was a well-drawn estate plan, and he recommended the plan be approved by the court. The moral of the story, even if an estate plan is a little bit unusual, proper planning and careful drafting will allow the maker of the will to control his own assets. I applaud Philip Seymour Hoffman for taking the time and making that effort to create an effective estate plan. In my nearly 40 years of law practice, I have handled hundreds and hundreds of effective estate plans. My job is to take care of my clients. Call me.